Hello everybody, this is Mad Marshman and welcome to another vanilla survival episode of the Night Garden. And last time you saw us, we went for what I thought was going to be a long walk. And it turned out to only be about 1200 blocks. And we found horses. We weren't really looking for horses, we just thought we'd go and look for a long walk and hopefully find one of these new dungeons. Which I still want to do. There's my crafting bench up there. Right, let's do this first. We keep dropping ender chests off everywhere. So we need another one. Very handy to have. Right. I think I've got some potions. Yeah, I think I took some with me. Right, so off we go. So, 1200 blocks overland is only about 100 blocks in the nether, which makes life a lot easier. So, obviously, I've set up a tunnel. Done that off camera. You didn't want to watch me chew through netherrack. You all know how to do this. You get your X and Y coordinates overland and divide them by 8, or well, X and Z actually, and that gives you the coordinates in the nether. So here we are. We get our sword ready just in case. Right, chunks are still loading. Still loading. Right, so I built this. Half of it is still not loaded. I built it off camera, I didn't think we want to see me build another hut. I put the chests in the ground so I can walk close to the window for these lovely panoramic views. And um, there is horses everywhere here. We've got a donkey and a three which we've made our own. I don't know if I can quickly sleep this night off. I know we're nearly at the end of the night anyway. Yes, yeah, so this is my little hut, some ambient light and with cocoa beans, glass for daylight, pressure plates and gate for a door, we've got a wheat farm here. I've got a few pigs that I'm breeding to feed the dogs raw meat and a carrot farm to breed the pigs. And the new hay bale. If you've not seen the new hay bale, we'll quickly throw one together for you. No surprise. It is nine wheat. So there we have that. And I've already put the chest on the donkey. You just put a chest in your hand and right click the donkey. If you want to access the chest, shift and right click. You can clearly says it says donkey there, so he's going to be very useful to us. They're all sitting, good. Now, I only have two saddles in my world. So, a fortune pick. And as I said, I would like to find one of these new dungeons. So, I think. I might as well put that in there for now. I think what we'll do is. I'll take these golden apples, since that was the plan. I'll try and find an interesting cave and when I drop in on one I'll come back to you. Well we have this surface cave we were in last episode and I didn't think it went anywhere but just over here while well, trying to avoid the lava to get back out again it goes down here. How far it goes down I don't know we got some zombies coming to greet us, so I shall greet them with my fire aspect sharpness knockback sword. Which is only polite, really. And I hope this doesn't run into a dead end. I would really like to see a dungeon. I would really like to see a dungeon. Can we stop this water, or is this just a dead end? Go. 
going. Yeah, I didn't think you'd want to see me build the hut on camera, so it wasn't dissimilar from building that little maintenance hut, really. If you want to see these little builds, just let me know in the comments, and it's not a problem. I don't mind doing them on camera. Not at all. Right, so what I have got to remember here is despite that I'm rich in iron, I do need to collect coal because we will run out quite quickly running around these caves. Right, groan and zombie noises. So the fortune pick, go where the axe is. We could have really left the axe behind. I really do with putting efficiency on this pick as well, I think. It's fortune and unbreaking, which is nice, but I've got so many efficiency books. I should really sort that out. We aren't going to grab all the coal, but we want... That's quite a bit already. Right, so we're going down, I think is the way. And do I have, yes I have feather fallen on, but I would like to at least have some sort of path back up again. And thankfully the cheaty gravel was not cheaty gravel and didn't knock me into the lava. So we've got a safe-ish route round here. Don't worry about fortune on all the coal, we're not that hard up for it. out. I trapped myself. I think I want to get the other side of that lava. It's down more. Here we go. Oh dear, that's um not the safest entrance I've ever seen. Nice, that went well. And I haven't even brought a, I've come caving and I've not even brought a bucket with me. That ignorance I can't believe. We always have a water bucket. Right, we may actually have a reason to get iron though. Purely to get a bucket. Let's get in here. That wasn't good. Get in there and burn. Right, void fog. Falling. Why are they falling? And is there a lot of them? Or is it just you? No, it's you and a friend. Right. Be a dungeon. See some nice cobblestone is what we want to see. <coughs> Zombies they seem to be very common around here. No sign of any cobble. Lots of lapis, you I don't like. Come on, this is power five bow, you should be dying quicker than that. Skellies. Oh, yeah, you are right. Right, that's interesting. Very interesting. Abandoned mine shaft. Not really what I'm after, but two ender dudes. I not brought my loot and sword with me. That's 
That's a shame. As you can see by the colour of the water, I've adjusted the snapshot texture pack and got the water how I like it. It's not my water, I just lifted it from Doc M's version of the faithful texture pack. I just trim the glass myself so that you can't see the reflection in the glass because I don't like that look. Let's just grab some more coal while we're here. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to one of these new dungeons. In this world I only have two saddles. Obviously I have no horse armour or no name tags yet. I don't have any music discs either. In my last world I had nearly all the music discs you could get. I'm glad to see they've implemented the new gravel texture in this faithful pack. I don't really like the old pink gravel. And I think in the last faithful pack we had they were still using that. So let's do some of this and quickly make some more torches while we're here and make a shed load. It doesn't matter about filling up inventory space because we're not really mining for the sake of mining here. We're dungeon hunting more than anything else. So I could go in a mine shaft, but I don't know how common dungeons are in mine shafts. Mind you, we could find some. I'm guessing we could find some new loot. Where are you? I can just see the corner of your head. Yeah, clever pathfinding. Very clever pathfinding now. I really should have made a bucket, because I could have collected these rails. I use so many rails, I'll say so many, only a stack of iron's worth. Building my um iron golem farm as a minecart ch chest minecart up there I can see and I want that. Mm. Oh, an iron horse armour. That's the sort of thing we're looking for. I think we can leave everything else. This goes nowhere. Excellent. Iron horse armour. We could end up very lost very quickly here. Lots of coal, which again we're not going to bother with. I don't know if we're going to find a dungeon. I suppose a dungeon could intersect. Oh, the water put the fire out. Get dead. Get off me with your spider web. Yeah, I do still really want silk touch shears, but I've not got a silk touch book yet. This little side shoot cave here. We'll get in here. Skelly's everywhere. I think we got him, didn't we? My aim is definitely improving with the bow. Which is good. Dead end? Not quite. Or is this a dead end up here? Yes, this is. Sorry, just itched my nose and clay with the microphone. Let's have some food because we're not regenerating. Don't want to die in here because we'll probably never find our stuff ever again. Right, gravel, which oh, normally means we continue. a dead end. I've got all this lovely eye and we're just leaving behind. I'm sure I'll regret it one day. They'll nerf the iron golem farm and I'll have to be retracing my steps everywhere. That could be interesting down there. Right, so what have we done? We're done that way. Not done this way. We should be grabbing the gold. Oh, another skeleton! What a surprise! 
really should be grabbing this because I've got plenty, but I do not have a farm for it. Another dead end. Right, is this the world's smallest abandoned mine shaft? So, have we been in all directions? That's just, this is where we came in, I believe. Stop that, cause that's crazing me. Yeah, that's the side shoot cave that dead ends. I can see another way. Unless that, that's the down. Down into lava. Let's just stop that so we don't get pushed into the lava. What are we at? 14, so we're in diamond territory for sure. But there is none. Right, back up. Right, I shall have a little run around here and maybe come back to here if I find something interesting. Preston, considerably more dangerous, considerably easier to get lost in. Here's the big dirt room that they all centre around. You need to die. Ah, so do you. I need food back on the hot bar. Stay healthy here. Let's get back in here then. A lot of dead ends in this mine shaft. A lot of dead ends. That's the, the dirt room. Ah. This is where we came up. Sense of direction is failing me as usual. So let's head into the darkness then. Sounds like a really good idea. It's all just dead ends. That is going to be a cave spider spawner, and we're in range of it. Ooh, listen to that, that's deafening. Spiders. Don't really want to know about baby spiders. Could be time to test the golden apple. That's a dead end anyway. massively loud compared to all the other sound effects. I don't know what it sounds like at your end, but to me, that's nearly blowing my ears off with these headphones on. Yeah, we were just here. We're going to take the coal. Melon seeds I'd have killed for not so long ago. I'm not even interested in that cave spider spawner today. 
fairly impressive. And baby spiders, there they are. Run away, we don't want nothing to do with them. This is a dead end. Oh, here they are. Here comes one. Glitching out, what they normally do, I expect, as well. You can't kill them, but they can poison you. See what I mean? We can't hit him, but you can guarantee he'll get us. There you go, we're poisoned. We're poisoned. Yeah, how cheaty is that? They're in there, I know. I have no idea how we're going to get over here. <coughs> or how we got in. Excuse me. This is how we got in. Featherfall. Yay. Right, there's some more darkness over here. We'll have a look at that. Chew away over tunnel rat style. There's light everywhere up, cause maximum spawnage everywhere else. Well, that's pretty useless. Right, this is not very interesting as I thought it was going to be. Thought we'd have found a dungeon by now. Normally run into them quite quickly if you do a lot of caving. Ah, oh, darkness. Not much though. Well, another dark spot we haven't been into. This feels ominously like it's going to dead end any minute. I hope not. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Well, I suppose it wasn't totally, totally bad. We found a chest and we got some um, horse armor. We can't complain about that. And we are now going to make use of our water bucket that we made a point of crafting, smelting. So that's going to get us a little bit further in here. There are a lot of running water as well. And zombies, which is nice. But there is one. And a diamond. So we are going to finish on a high note. As long as we don't die, and finish on a low note. Hello! Zombie villager dude. There's all sorts of death and horribleness waiting for us here, I'm sure, just because we're near Diamond. Yeah, we're going in all directions now. Another lava pool. Right, before we get lost, we are going to excavate. Right, there's no lava underneath that. This is the fortune pick, yes. Out. That looked like four. So we just hit five diamonds. We'll clear all round them, as you never know. Right, I think that's our lot. So we got twelve out of five. I can live with that. I can live with that. We're always glad of some diamond. 
Ooh, a look at you trapped behind a one high gap. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Unfortunate for you. Alright, that's a dead end. We might as well have some of this since we've got to take up space in our inventory. Might have a little more while we're here, so we don't really need. We don't use much gold, we use it in potions. Just want to get down here, and I don't want to jump in with my 12 diamonds. No, there's nothing there for us. Alright, we came out of there. That's a dead end. I'm sure I saw another dark piece of darkness. No, that was the creeper. Right, I'm going around in circles again, so let's get out of here. Did it go up there? No. Leave myself a way out, that's not very clever. We've been up here. We've been up there. We have not been all the way across there. Where's this source block? So I want to get rid of it. Oh, get me out. Here's skellies. Dead end. Or not. Ah, this is the central room to the to the mine shaft. Two skellies. Did I just shoot the minecart and destroy it? I did. What was in it? Cocoa beans, iron, diamonds, creeper behind the baby spiders. Uh, more diamonds, that was nice. And another minecart chest. You are not my friends. Let's just do that for now. I want to have a look in this other minecart. Red and lapis. Right, we're running low on torches. zombies as well over here. This way. Now they're this way. Where are they? Which way are they? They sound to me like they're tomorrow. <laughs> Spawner. Something coming in behind me. Sort the 
food, eh? And that looks dangerous. No, that's me digging. Sounded like a spawner from down there, but right knock back. Still alive. Pick up the levels. Normal spider. Zombies that can't. Oh, they can't get to us. Skellies that can. What was here? This goes in two directions as well. Dead end. Right, I think I'm going to have to play about in here for a little while longer. So we're back here in our cabin, watching the sun rise behind us after that sort of reasonable expedition. I say reasonable because we got iron horse armor, which I think next episode we're going to have to do something with these horses definitely and the donkey so this is mad marshman thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye